please watch this video all the way to the end as between our uh, bowl of Fruit Loops that is a size chart and the salt belt system being a three belt system, uh, your core Cobra, your pad or flat Molly sleeve and the three different liners uh, with all their colors and sizes, you have almost a half million different combination options and we want you to get the right belt for your body and your mission the first time, so please watch it to the end. We're going to start with the liner belts because that is the base of the entire salt belt system. So uh, if you click over to our size chart, you will find your uh, pants waist size. Once you've figured out where you should fall on the size chart, go to the center line of the size chart, uh, the pink line as highlighted here. And I, for the example, I'm going to go to 31. You need to go to whatever your waist size is. And then you can go up or down the size chart to your respective belt that you're looking to get. Now, I'm gonna start with the big G's. Uh, you can see it just says G's on the liner chart. Um, that's because both the big G and the little G have the same base piece of webbing. Obviously, the little G has the uh, one inch webbing for the tension lock where you can actually get a few extra inches out of, uh, but the base sizing is the same for both big G and little G. Uh, now, if you look at where I am on a size 31, uh, I should be able to do either a 9 tab or a 10 tab. And if you see what it actually looks like on me, 8 tab, sure enough, is too small to wear. Uh, the 9 tab only has a little bit of extra tail hanging underneath uh, the main part of the belt or that I have to shove under the belt loop. Uh, so definitely want to err on the side of the smaller of the belts that you can wear. I can also wear the 10 tab, fits pretty good, but I'm shoving a lot more tail under my belt loop, which can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, but you also have a little bit less space between the hook and where the loop goes to inch and a half. Uh, and then 11 tab, uh, it's just a little bit too big, so I'm not going to fit that, just like the size chart says. Now, if you were to go to the little G uh, buckle, everything fits basically the same. Uh, now, with it being a little G, you have the tension overlock. So although the eight doesn't fit, I could loosen up the tension lock on the little G and I could actually make a little G eight tab fit on me. Uh, not the preferred method, but you can do it. Uh, so little G eight, not gonna fit unless you cut into the, the over tighten. 9 tab, exactly where it was on the big G. 10 tab, same thing. And the 11 tab, uh, you can get more space, but you can't take it away, so 11 tab still does not fit me. So for non-metallic, uh, the size chart says that I should not be able to wear a size 8. I should be just right for a size 9. And for a size 10, it should be too big. Uh, you can see when I actually put them on uh, with the 8 tab, there is zero hook and loop engagement, so definitely don't want to go with that. The 9 tab, um, full hook and loop engagement. I'm about in the middle of the adjustment, right where it says I should be uh, on the size chart. The 10 tab, the adjustment is all the way tightened, but it's still loose on my hips, so that would be a no-go, uh, just like the size chart says. So. Uh, that is pretty much your sizes for uh, the liners. Moving on to the meat and potatoes of the salt belt system is the molly sleeve. Now, you got to put a core cobra in that molly sleeve or a cobra rigger belt, if you will. Um, you want to make sure that you get the same size. It doesn't matter if it's flat or padded. The molly sleeve and the core cobra need to be the same size. All you're going to have exposed is a little bit of your soft safety loop and the buckle and maybe a little bit of adjustment depending on where you fall in that size bracket. Um, but if you're getting a 10 tab in the molly sleeve, you're getting a 10 tab in the core cobra. If you're getting a 12 sleeve, you're getting a 12 cobra. Um, now, a very critical thing for you to know is that uh, there is a difference between flats and pads as far as the sizing goes. Um, flats are obviously a little bit more smooth, streamlined, lower profile, uh, less bulk, but with the pad, uh, you, you get a little standoff with magazines and you actually get more Molly real estate. Now, the reason for this is the same reason you need to know for sizing. Um, with the flat, all it has is that plastic, some hook and loop, and a little bit of fabric, so it's very thin and streamlined. With the pad, you have that 3 8 foam pad, which isn't just 3 8 of foam, it's 3 8 of foam 
all the way around your body, which actually adds three inches to the circumference of the belt. Uh, and so when you're getting your belt, if you're getting a flat, uh, so for me, I'm a 31, I'm gonna get a nine tab flat, but if I'm going with a pad, it's gonna be a 10 pad because it's three inches larger. So you actually get more Molly real estate with a pad. Uh, you wanna be a little more streamlined, go with a flat. Now, let's look at what these belts actually look like on my body so you have an idea of what the size chart actually looks like on a human being. Now, again, I'm a 31, so go to the 31 column, and we're gonna slide down to the flats. Now, it says I should not be able to wear an eight, and if we take a look at what it looks like on my body, sure enough, eight is just a little bit too small. If I was a 30, I could probably squeeze into it a nine tab flat, uh, all the way tight, it's a little bit too tight, all the way loose, a little bit too loose, that means that perfect adjustment for me is somewhere right there in the middle. So nine tab is what I should be for a flat. And for the 10 tab, uh, if it's all the way tightened down, it fits me pretty good. Um, but if I was any smaller, I'm not gonna fit. Now, we go up to the padded. Uh, with the padded, uh, everything moves up. With the nine tab, uh, I'm not supposed to be able to fit it, and as we see, it doesn't matter if it's all the way loose or all the way tight, it's not gonna fit me. 10 tab, 10 tab is my jam. This is the belt that I've taken to numerous ranges, climbing expeditions, everything, and uh, all the way tight, too tight, all the way loose, too loose, right in the middle is, that's where I always keep it. And then uh, 11 tab, it says I should just barely be able to make that, but if it's all the way tightened down, it's still a little bit too loose. So that is the sizing on the flats and the pads for the Molly sleeves. Again, make sure your Cobra is the same size. If you still have any questions on the sizing for the belt, please feel free to reach out to our customer service as we wanna make sure you get the right size and the right type uh, first time. And uh, until next time, forget about the uh, subscribe button. Just tell all your friends about us.